Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got what I've been warming over the last couple weeks, week and a half or so. Um, I've got a pretty full basket here, so we'll kind of go through what I've warmed in my house over the last couple weeks and I'll let you know what I warmed, where I warmed it, how it performed, so you might decide what you might want to try. Um, I will do the new system here where I go through the Scentsy stuff first and then vendor wax towards the end. It was mostly Scentsy stuff this week though. I will be going through warm reviews of the three new Valentine's Day bars as well. I have warmed all three of these and they are currently available. So I will let you know how those did in my house. And a couple other housekeeping things before we get right into the video is bring back my bar voting starts today. So January 10th, um, bring back my bar voting is in place. It is going to be the top 200 bars based on lifetime sales. I haven't seen the voting list yet, but I know if I see Perfect Peppermint, I am voting for it. I want a good kind of chocolate mint scent. That's one I've really wanted back for some time. Other than that, I'm just excited to see the list and see what there is to vote for. So I'm, those will be available in July. So the month of July, we're voting now. They'll be available in July. And then we currently have available the last round that we voted on. So we voted in the summertime and those 25 bars are now currently available. So we're going to vote on the next 20 for the summer now. So do keep in mind that they are going to be available during the summer. So I know it's cold and snowy right now, So, but you're going to be getting them in the summer. So keep that in mind when you're voting. The other thing I wanted to mention is I've noticed in a few rounds, maybe not this round so much, but a few rounds there's been like 75% of the scents that are voted on and that come back are in like the first four letters of the alphabet. <laughs> and I think that's because they do it in alphabetical order in the voting system. So I think people just vote for the ones that sound good as they go and then they run out of five votes before they get to the end of the list. <clears throat> so my other piece of advice would be to scroll, look at all of the scents, get to the end of the list and then make your votes based on that. Um, it is voting once per day per website. So if you want to vote multiple times, you'll have to find different consultants websites to vote on. What I like to do, and this is probably not like technically what you're supposed to do, but I like type in a super common name like Heather, Sarah, Ashley, Jessica, super common names in like the consultant search and then go to their websites and vote in their bring back my bar. <laughs> That's what I do. So little voting hack for you. Now the Valentine's collection, like I said, is available now. The bars are still available. Um, last I checked the large fragrance flower with the three different buds in it was also still available. That is likely to go soon. And the smaller fragrance flower, the yellow Simply the Zest Dahlia one has sold out. So I don't know yet if or when that will be restocked. It is likely not to be restocked. Um, but everything else from the Valentine's collection is currently available at the time I'm filming this. So that is available if you want to go check it out. We are getting some St. Patrick's Day stuff coming this year in February, not this month. But consultant early access for the St. Patrick's Day bar is happening next week. So I plan to order that and let you guys know how it does. Other Scentsy news is cotton cleanups. The... the the kind of like round pucks with cotton and the little handles, those are being discontinued in the large size that we have now. It sounds like they're going to be putting them in a smaller version that is also less expensive in the spring summer catalog. So I don't know what the details on that are like. I don't know how big they're gonna be. All I know is that they're gonna fit in mini warmers and standard size warmers, which is something that we've been asking for for a while because the large cotton cleanups do not fit in mini warmers or in some of the standard warmers too, because they have like narrower dishes. I have um, the heart to heart warmer out right now in my living room. And I've noticed that the cotton cleanup doesn't really fit all that well into that one. So smaller cotton cleanups will be good for fitting into all the warmers. I do like that the price point is going to be lower. So I'm excited to see a smaller cotton cleanup at a lower price point. Um, I do kind of wish they had kept the large ones as well as an option to purchase but it sounds like they are not. So they're out of stock on the websites. They are not coming back. So we will find out more details about the smaller ones coming soon. Another little nugget from the spring summer catalog that is launching March 1st. It's a ways off. We still got a ways to go before they come out, but the spring summer catalog, it sounds like is going to have dryer sheets. Dryer sheets are coming to Sensi as like a standard product. I'm so excited. They discontinued their scent soft product, which is like a fabric softener liquid. That was discontinued a couple seasons ago, season or two ago, um, but they've brought out dryer sheets. They're made and it sounds like if you join in January, you actually get a box of clothesline scented dryer sheets, which is really cool. Um, but for the rest of us, they're going to be available at some point in the future and for everybody in March. So 
that's something to be looking forward to. That is something I've wished Scentsy made since I joined. Like I've wanted dryer sheets from Scentsy since I started doing Scentsy. I love the laundry stuff. The scent soft is really nice. I've got a heck of a stockpile to work through, but I'm very excited for dryer sheets. And some people are like, well, don't they already make a dryer product? And it's like, yes, they do. They make the dryer discs, but the dryer discs are not designed to reduce static. They're just a scent product. Dryer sheets are going to be a static reducing product as well. So that is really, really exciting news. And that's probably about enough rambling for me. So we are going to jump into what I've been warming. First things first, I finished up a brick of maraschino sugar cookie in the open layout. I did this early in the new year. Um, it's still fairly early in the new year, but I finished this up pretty early. This one is nice. This is one of my husband's absolute favorite scents for the holidays. Um, it is a cherry sugar cookie, cookie scent. And it is a nice cherry. I like the cherry here. It's sweet. It's a strong performer. And usually this one's fairly short duration, but this brick had been sitting for a good year. And this lasted like a day and a half. So this one did really, really well. Liked it a lot. I did two brick cubes in my open layout and we loved it. So this is, I have another full brick to, of this to use and it is in my club as well. So I finished one and I have one to go, but love this scent. This is a favorite for December for our family. And in this case, early January. Next in the open layout, this was a, oh, I've got my bars stacked up here beside me and they're getting warm to the touch because I have my fireplace going. It is minus 35 where I live right now, so it's chilly and um, the furnace is going, but we have large windows, so it gets cool out. It gets cool in here even with the furnace going, so the fireplace is on, but it's warming up my bars, so we'll see. Okay, New Year's Eve, I did a little mix. I did half a bar of pomegranate prosecco and half a bar of very merry cranberry. Both of these scents are retired. They were both catalog scents in previous years. Um, pomegranate prosecco is like sparkling rosé and I think berries. It is a sweet, slightly effervescent type scent, kind of fruity, um, kind of a medium strength, light medium to medium strength. Really nice mixer for a lot of things and it's kind of screams New Year's Eve to me. Very Merry Cranberry is a lovely, very standard cranberry scent. It's on the lighter side. It's like when you think of a cranberry scent, this is the cranberry scent you're probably thinking of. Kind of a fruity, not super strong, very basic, not super layered cranberry, just basic cranberry, slightly tart berry. Um, cranberry and cardamom is what is in the catalog now instead. That one is more layered, it is stronger. It's overall a better scent in my opinion, cranberry and cardamom. But I do really like something about Very Merry Cranberry as well. And these two together in alternate warmers was really nice. So I think I got equal parts of both. I think they were a good mix for each other that way. They were both kind of a medium strength. It was a one day mix, um, but I really enjoyed it. Very New Year's-y, really enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, I would repurchase both of these bars if I could. I think I have one more of Pomegranate Prosecco and I, this is my last bar of Very Merry Cranberry. And I think I'll probably mix it with Sleigh Ride at some point. Next in my office, I had been in there quite a bit doing some work. Um, I did Creme de Menthe from the Mardi Gras collection. This is currently available. This one is like sparkling sugar and mint. And I get chocolate to this one. Some noses get chocolate, some noses don't. And the first time I warmed this, I was so disappointed because I got like a dustiness from it. I warmed it a second time in my office and I did not get the dusty note the second time. So, and I was in there, like I was sitting at my computer right in front of the warmer. So I was sitting there for quite a while. I didn't get any dustiness that time. It was really, really pleasant. It was a nice soft kind of gourmand mint. This one I'm gonna have to play with a bit more because I didn't get the dust this time. And if I don't get the dust, I love this. But there was that one time where I got a distinct kind of purse mint dusty note, but I didn't get that the second time. So I'm excited that I didn't get it the second time. So I'm excited to warm more of this and decide if this might be a club bar for me, because if I don't get the dust again, this will be a club bar for me. Um, but a medium strength, really nice balance of scent, just really, really pretty. If you like mint scents or you like kind of like those chocolatey sweet mint scents, <clears throat> this might be one to try. Next up, I did a mix my friend Kara suggested. This one is one part to one part in the same warmer dish as what I did in my office. And this was Hug in a Mug, which is retired with Perfect Peppermint, which is currently available in the winter catalog. So Perfect Peppermint is just basic peppermint. It is a wonderful, wonderful scent on its own or as a mixer. It's usually about a medium strength for me. And it's just a nice crisp, clean mint. Beautiful. It's not herbal in any way. It's just a crisp, clean mint. Very, very nice. 
And then hug in a mug. This one was cookie dough, hazelnut, and milk chocolate. This one was wonderful. I'm so sad they took it away. This is a nice kind of milk chocolate scent. It's kind of creamy and mixed with the mint. It was like a creamy hot chocolate mint. It was very, very nice. That was about a medium. It was a one dayer, but very pleasant. I really enjoyed that mix and I would definitely do it again. So if you have hug in a mug and perfect peppermint, I highly recommend that mix. I think Kara had suggested possibly alternate warmers for that mix, but like I said, I only had one warmer in that room, so I did it in the same dish. So thank you, Kara. Next in the office, I finished a bar of Velvet Moon. That is still going. This has been two days in there already and it's still going. This is a soft, kind of gently soapy scent and soapy in the prettiest way. Like clean, feminine, soft. It even smells lathery. Like it smells like a creamy, rich lather. It's really nice. Yeah, this is not harsh or astringent soapy at all. This is like creamy, rich, soft, silky soap. This is really nice. So Velvet Moon is in the catalog as well. Very, very nice. I will replace this bar as well. So that will be a repurchase. Then we had the cold snap start and I was just feeling like I wanted a bit of summer in my life. So I grabbed one from the summer collection. This was Pineapple Dragon Fruit from last year's summer collection. I kind of feel like we might see this in the catalog this season. I don't know. I have no knowledge of that, but I kind of feel like if we get one of the summer collection, it might be Pineapple Dragon Fruit in the catalog this spring and summer. This one is very good. It is a strong pineapple kind of lemon citrus type scent. It's really nice, very strong. Um, about a one dayer, because citrus scents usually don't last terribly long, but it's a good one day. It's nice and citrusy, nice and sweet, um, nice and potent. That is a good one. I would probably get another bar of this if I could, but there are several scents kind of like this. Um, Sparkling Yellow is similar to this. Pineapple Mango is a little bit similar to this. And those are also in the spring summer catalog generally as well. So we'll see. Next in our bedroom, I did two cubes of Sweet Berry. This one is one that I got in a swap from my friend Sara in New Zealand. And this one is awesome. I love this one. This one smells like the pink A1 bubble bath, but sweeter. I love this. It's kind of a pretty gently bubble bath type scent. It's wonderful. It's just happy. I like this one. So this was a 24 hour one. Hey Ben. Hey buddy. This was about a 24 hour one. This one is on the lighter side. I probably, if I had unlimited access to this bar, I probably would have doubled it. But because this is my only bar and I can't get more, I did just use the two cubes. And it was about a light medium, maybe a three or four to 10 in strength. Um, but this was this is beautiful. So that was a good one. I would get more if I could. Midnight Masquerade, this is in the Mardi Gras collection, currently available. This one is polarizing. People are either loving this or not liking it at all. This one is an odd combination of like clean florals mixed with a very heavy gourmand note, like caramelized sugar. It's like a dark brown caramelized sugar mixed with like this kind of pretty floral scent. It's very sultry, very evening, um, very nice for a bedroom. And that is where I warmed this. So I did two more cubes in my bedroom of this. Really liked it. This is one I'm going to stock up on. I've decided I'm not going to club it because it's not one that I would reach for all the time. But I think for a winter bedroom scent, this is gorgeous. This is like the winter counterpart to stargazing, I would say, with a bakery twist. Um, I really like it. It's not going to be for everybody, neither was stargazing. Um, but I think if you like those kind of deep, sultry, perfumey scents, you're going to really enjoy this and I think it's worth picking up. Very good performer, lasts a good couple days. Nice, solid, medium strength. Very, very good. And I think this is going to age really well. Then I had done, I think it was three cubes of vanilla barnwood in my bedroom. We love this. I have the fragrance flower in this scent in our bathroom right now. It's almost finished up. It has been a wonderful fragrance flower. It's not available anymore. But I hope we get this in the catalog next winter and I hope that we get the fragrance flower back in this scent too because the fragrance flower in this scent is wonderful. Um, nice and strong, just scents the room so prettily. So this one, it's kind of like a soft vanilla sandalwood with like a twist of almost like a lemon cream or some kind of very soft lemon note. It also has like a hint of like a sweet fresh air note, but a sweet fresh air, not a crisp or cold fresh air, like a sweet fresh air. It is so pretty and so like complex and layered and cuddly cozy. It's wonderful. Perfect bedroom scent. 
Um, not available. This was part of the holiday collection, so it is gone now. I hope you clubbed it or have some in your little stash there. But, oh, I love this one. And I did club this one. That is fantastic. The closest thing I've found so far to Pacific Sandalwood that I hope comes back one day. Then more of my open layout. It looks like we kind of went through a few stacks here. Um, Fireside Chats. This is one that was from the Sense of the Season collection about two years ago. This is not currently available. It hasn't been available in some time. Um, this was kind of a hearth. I can't remember what the notes would have been. It's kind of a woodsy hearth type scent. It might have like a spiced orange. Yeah, it must have spiced orange because there's oranges on the package. I would say, yeah, there's a bit of a spiced orange here. But that's not the main note. This smells like a pantry and a cottage in the woods. Like if you walked into a wood home and they had a well-stocked pantry and they were like homesteaders and they had like canned goods and like dried fruit and all that kind of stuff, this is what their pantry would smell like. It's spicy and welcoming and homey and very comforting. It's not a scent I would reach for all the time. It doesn't smell like my house, but for a cold January day, this is perfect. And that's what we had. I warmed this yesterday. It's still going right now. Um, this one is the perfect, like, very cold January day scent. It's like minus 35 here right now. And this is perfect. This is what you want your house to smell like when it's this cold out. So it's very, very wintry without being Christmassy in any way. There's nothing holiday-ish about this, but it's very wintry. So love that. That one, I don't know what I would have purchased more of. I really like it. It's not one that I reach for or crave very often, but I this one, this was perfect this time. You know when you get like the right day or the right mood for the bar? This was bang on. So perfect. Really strong. I would say seven or eight out of ten, especially with some age, and it's becoming a two-dayer, so pretty good. Then on my mom's birthday, I've done a little mix. I did half a bar of birthday, happy birthday, and then half a bar of birthday wishes. So Happy Birthday was a Bring Back My Bar scent in the summertime. This one is kind of a cake scent. You get frosting. I get a bit of chocolate and vanilla cake with frosting. Really, really nice. This is my favorite cake type scent since he does. It's in my club. Then we did Birthday Wishes and I had this club for a very long time and then I traded it out for Happy Birthday. But this is a softer, almost like angel food cake type scent. It's kind of got the soft, fluffiness of an angel food cake with that crisp brown edge that angel food cakes get. It's kind of like that. So this is more of a vanilla soft fluffy cake. This is more of a traditional like birthday cake. So these two mixed in alternate warmers was really nice. It was a one dare. Nice soft vanilla. It never got overpowering. I would say like a three or four to ten in strength but really nice. Then I did a mix with three different bars. So these were in the same warmer in varying ratios, but each warmer had a little bit of all three scents. So the first was we did six cubes in the open layout of Bananarama. This is not available. It is a Bring Back My Bar scent. We do currently have bananas in Bring Back My Bar, but this is Bananarama. This one was like a banana candy type scent. And as it sat for some time, this is about two years old, as it sat, it did take on some vanilla bakery tones. So because of that, I decided to mix it with bakery stuff and make like a banana bread. So I mixed it with half a bar of oats and honey and half a bar of frosted cinnamon roll. So this one is like oats and honey and buttery goodness. This one is a cinnamon roll with cream cheese frosting. And then we had the banana and that was really nice, like really nice. So what I did was either one to two cubes of banana rama in each warmer and then one to two, one cube of each of frosted cinnamon roll and oats and honey in each warmer. So each warmer had one of these each and either one or two of Bananarama. So that worked well. It was a 24 hour scent. It maybe could have gone a bit longer, but I was ready to change it out. Um, and about a six or seven out of 10 in strength, it was nice. I will say I expected the banana to be stronger, but I think what happened was the frosted cinnamon roll took it over a little bit. I feel like the oats and honey and the frosted cinnamon roll were just a little bit stronger than Bananarama. And so I got mostly the bakery notes with just a tiny hint of the banana, the banana. But that was okay with me because I'm not super into banana candy scents anyways, but it was okay. So I think if you do have banana rama sitting around in your stash, mixing it with some kind of bakery is probably a good plan. Um, and frosted cinnamon rolls seem to be a good one. So then in my office, I did a sample of frosted ginger cookie, which is currently available in Bring Back My Bar this month. This is brown sugar cookie, ginger, and vanilla. 
Now I had a bar of frosted ginger cookie in my bring back my bar consultant kit and I warmed through it early on last month. Um, I've ordered more frosted ginger cookie. It hasn't arrived yet, but I did get a sample from my friend Sara in New Zealand in our, in our swap. So I used up the sample in my office and I enjoyed the heck out of it. It was wonderful. This is a zingy fresh ginger. It is not gingerbread ginger. It is like zingy fresh ginger and quite a lot of it with kind of a nice gently spiced cookie. It is wonderful. It is so, so good. And you do get a very sweet frosting note here too. I strongly recommend this as long as you're okay with a nice fresh ginger note. Then in my daughter's room, we had finished a bar of Turn Up the Pink. This was from the October Breast Cancer Awareness Collection. It is not currently available. This was nice. It was kind of a soft, sweet, fruity, gentle floral. It was really pretty. This is one I may have purchased more of, but I just didn't. Um, but it was a nice, pleasant, fruity floral. We enjoyed it. This one went for two to three days in her room. It was a soft scent. I would say three to three or four out of 10, probably closer to a three for most of it, but it was really pleasant. Like it was just kind of a nice, soft background, fruity floral, really pretty for a kid's room, really pretty for any bedroom, really. Very, very nice. I would probably get more of that if I saw it. Then we did two cubes of red. This was in the summer catalog as rainbow red last season. Um, but this was the original Chase Rainbows packaging. This one is strawberry, cherry, and watermelon. And this one is a very strong, very saturated, juicy, berry type scent. I think the thing that makes it feel so juicy is the watermelon, but you don't really get overt watermelon here. You do kind of, now that you, like when you say that there's watermelon in here, you can kind of smell it, but mostly you get strawberry with a bit of cherry and just this kind of like very watery, juicy type tone to it that I think is the watermelon. It's very, very nice, very strong. I would say eight out of 10 in her room. And I would, it's been, it's on day three now and it's still a solid medium. So this one goes for days, like days and days. <clears throat> then in her room, we did Street Parade. This is the Mardi Gras collection as well. And people are really liking this one. This is strawberry, pineapple, and what? Maybe there is no strawberry here. I think it's pineapple and plum. I think it's pineapple and plum. I smell strawberry, like strawberry pineapple, mostly pineapple, but it's reading is kind of berryish to me, that plum. It's very nice. If you like a nice fruity summery scent, Street Parade is one I wouldn't pass up. This one is, I think one that most people are gonna really enjoy and that is currently available. So that is a good one. And I would say about a medium strength, average performer all around, about a like, 24 hour scent, medium strength, but very, very good scent appeal on that one. I will get more of that one. In the laundry room, I did Lily and Linen. Now this is a region three bar in the catalog for the spring and summer because it's spring and summer in New Zealand and Australia right now. Um, this is in their catalog, Lily and Linen. Now, Sar and I had a theory that several of the new release scents in our catalogs were the same with different scent descriptions and different names, but they sounded so similar. We're like, I, I bet you they're the same. So there was a couple. There was an apple one that New Zealand and Australia have. I can't remember what they call it there, but it's the same as our frosted cedar. It is frosted cedar. They're the same scent. Different color, different name, different scent descriptions, but they're the same scent. And then there is, they have cherry delight. We have cranberry and cardamom. They are not quite identical, but they're very similar, like very similar. Um, and again, same notes, similar, profiles, but they're very close. However, the frosted cedar one is identical. They're the same, same. This one is also the same, same. This is frosty air from the fall winter catalog in North America and region two. This is Lillian linen is the exact same scent as frosty air. This is, yeah, I don't know what the notes are on the scent description in New Zealand and Australia, but Lillian linen is the same. So we did a little bit of comparing there because yeah, <clears throat> we just looked at some of the scent descriptions. We're like, that's so close to the one that you guys have that's this. And yeah. And then my friend Emmy on Instagram had kind of mentioned the same thing. She's like, yeah, these are, I bet they're the same. And I was like, I bet they are. So when Sar and I did our swap, we swapped some of the new catalog scents just to see if they were the same. And the ones that we did swap were identical except for Cranberries and Cardamom to Cherry Delight. Those ones are very similar. Cherry Delight is lighter, a little bit more summer friendly, whereas Cranberry and Cardamom is quite heavy and rich and saturated. Um, but other than that, they're pretty, they're, yeah, 
This is identical to Frosty Air. It is wonderful. I love Frosty Air. I also love Lillian Linen, therefore. Um, that is a nice performer as well. It is like a two to three day type scent, very soft, cuddly, cozy laundry scent. Without going into super floral sharp laundry, it's kind of a soft rounded laundry scent. It's very nice. Next, this is another New Zealand spring summer catalog scent. This is Apple Blossom Breeze, which makes me think boots with the fur, but it's Apple Bottom Breeze, or Apple Bottom, Apple Blossom Breeze. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Apple Blossom, Jasmine, and Breeze is, is the notes. Um, this kind of smelled like kind of your standard, like kind of fruity fresh, or not fruity, floral fresh scent on cold. It was kind of like your typical floral fresh. On warm, this was stunning. Like I kept walking into the bathroom being like, what is that? That I, I need, that is wonderful. And then I realized it was this. And yeah, this one is very, very good. So this one is not the same as anything we have in North America right now. I'm wondering if we'll get something in our spring catalog that is similar to this. Um, because yeah, like I said, currently in New Zealand and Australia, it is summer there right now. So they're getting summer scents in their catalog. So I'm wondering if our spring catalog will contain a dupe of Apple Blossom Breeze because that is very, very pretty. It was, how would you describe it? It was kind of a fresh floral, but it was like cool and breezy without being super tropical or summery. Like it was a nice May type scent, like early summer. There's still a bit of coolness in the air, especially in the morning. It was like a morning summer scent, like May in the summer, in the morning. It was just crisp and pretty and a little bit floral, but very fresh. It was, oh, love this one. So Apple Blossom, Jasmine and Breeze. You definitely got the Breeze in here and I think that's what sold it. Love that. I hope we get something similar in region one for spring and summer. Then in the bathrooms, I finished up Positively Pink. This was another breast cancer awareness bar. This one I think was Sandalwood raspberry and vanilla. This was really nice. It is kind of a nice kind of classic, yeah, fruity scent. I would say I definitely get sandalwood, I get raspberry, and I think I get vanilla. It smells kind of familiar to me and I can't really place it, but it was very nice. Would I get more? Probably not. It was nice enough, but I don't think I need more. Um, but very, very pleasant. Kind of a 24 hour type scent, medium strength, very average performer. And then we have, before we get to the vendor wax, we have the three Valentine's Day bars. These are currently available. They came out the other day. So first we have I Pick You, which is the floral bar. I'll put the notes below, but this one was kind of the floral one of the bunch. Yeah, this one I had set on cold reminded me a lot of Love Story, which is a dupe for a, uh, a Victoria's Secret perfume. I can't remember which one. Um, but it reminds me a lot of Love Story without the chocolate note. And that became, that was the case on Warm as well. So I did two cubes of this in my daughter's bedroom. This one lasted about two and a half days, like going 24 hours. And was just a nice, like maybe four to five out of 10, like a nice light medium to medium, somewhere in there. But you wouldn't want it super strong because it is kind of a perfumey floral scent. Definitely very sweet though. It is a very sweet floral perfume, really pretty. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Love Story without the chocolate note. I really liked it. Yeah, it's pretty. I think it's a nice winter bedroom scent. Again, you could probably do this in the spring and summer as well. The only reason I say winter is because it is on the perfumey side. And I feel like in the summer you want kind of crisper, lighter scents. This is quite a saturated, like sultry type scent. Really, really nice. Would I get more? Maybe. It's, it's really nice. So if you like those kind of perfumey, kind of floral bedroom type scents. This is a nice one. And I'm not typically a floral fan, but I did enjoy this. I will happily melt the rest of that. Then early January, I was putting Christmas decorations away and I wanted something kind of citrusy and clean. So simply the zest is what we did. This one was kind of the citrus one of the bunch. And this one, when it was warming, I got mainly like a citrus note. I would say definitely like a mandarin. Mandarin and maybe a little bit of like leaning lemon, but mostly like a sweet orange, like a sweet mandarin. Um, very, very pretty. It has almost a, like a suggestion of floral when it's warming, not 
I wouldn't say it's a fruity floral. I would say it's a citrus scent with a whisper of something maybe floral in the background. But I think if you don't like floral, I wouldn't worry about it. You're probably still gonna like Simply the Zest. It reminded me a lot of one we had at Easter, was it last year? Was it called Mandarin Splash or Mandarin Zest? I can't remember. But it reminded me a lot of the yellow Easter bar we had last year. I'll put the name of that bar here once I find it when I'm editing. But Simply the Zest reminded me of that. It was kind of a dressed up citrus, good performer. Better than I expected, actually. I didn't expect this to carry my open layout as well as it did for so long. This was a 24 hour bar at a good solid, like six or seven out of 10. Very, very good. I don't know that this would do a super large open layout, but for a mine, it did quite well. So yeah, I would get more of that. That's a good one. Next, we have Perfectly Cute, which was my favorite of the bunch on cold. And this one is your classic fruity floral. This one reminds me of something and I cannot place it still. I think it's a candy. It might be, there it is, okay. Runt's candy has like the little pink heart and then it's got the limes and the bananas and the oranges and all that, but there's a pink heart and I think it's supposed to be a strawberry. This smells like the pink heart. It doesn't smell like strawberries, but it smells like the pink heart Runt. That's what it is, there it is. <laughs> Glad I finally placed it, okay. The notes on this though are pear, apricot blossom, and I can't remember what else. But on warm, this is very much a fruity, mostly fruity with again, a tiny bit of floral. Um, pretty approachable, pretty widely appealing, I think. I think most people will like this. Um, a little on the feminine side, really nice. This also was a better performer than I expected. I did two cubes in my bedroom and this was a good six or seven out of 10. Very nice performer. Um, solid medium to medium plus and it was like a 36 hour it didn't go two days but it was about 36 hours in the warmer really nice yeah i like that one i would repurchase this that is very nice and the fragrance flower in this i believe is still available so that is a good one if you're at all into fruity florals or candy type scents <clears throat> this one did lean a little bit candy to me the other thing this reminded me a little bit of on warm and I didn't really get it on cold, but on warm, especially as this went on and some of that sweetness wore off a bit, this reminded me a little bit of like sweet pea and vanilla, which is kind of a sweet, soft floral with the vanilla and a, like a hint of like, I think sweet pea and vanilla has like a raspberry note too. And this does not have a raspberry note, but there's a bit of a fruity sweetness here in addition to that kind of soft, sweet floral. So they're kind of reminiscent of one another in my opinion. So really like that. That is perfectly cute. Just a few vendor wax items here. We have creamy cashmere and fireside marshmallow from Teddy Bees. This one is cashmere cream, caramelized sugar, fire roasted marshmallows, hints of whipped vanilla and sandalwood. This one was one of my favorites from the fall pre-order. This was from, I wanna say the August pre-order. This is wonderful. I'm definitely gonna vote for this in the requests um, coming up for the pre-order because this one would be great for winter too. Um, this one is one I would like to get like a loaf of if I could. So I hope we see this back at some point. That was wonderful. Praline and Woods is the next one. And this is also one I will vote for if I see it in the voting for the pre-order. This is toasted pecans, praline candy, spiced white cake, and blended with soft woods. This is so good. This is like caramel woods deliciousness. This one I did in the open layout between Christmas and New Year's when we were just like having a pajama day at home, not leaving the house, playing video games, watching movies, doing absolutely nothing. This is what I put on and it was so good. It was so good. Just delicious decadence, relaxed, understated, cozy. So, so, so good. Loved it. And in my bedroom, I did a sample of the Three-Eyed Raven from Teddy Bees. This one, I can't remember the notes, but I know there was smoke and marshmallow involved. Yeah, this is a smoky marshmallow scent. There was a slight bit of maybe musk or some kind of like almost bordering on cologne type note, but it was mostly a very smoky marshmallow. Very, very nice. I would purchase this in a full size if I saw it available again. That was nice. I would probably do it in an open layout next time because smoky so scents in the bedroom are kind of odd for me, but I think as an open layout scent, that would have been beautiful. Very long lasting that one too. That one went about two days, even with just a little sample cup. So that was a good one. Then in my open layout, I did Orange Spice from Melting Memories. Now Melting Memories is doing a pre-order. I believe it's starting January 15th. 
and I think it goes, I'm not sure when it goes to, I'll give you details later, um, but it's starting next Monday. So Orange Spice, I'm not sure if that one's going to be available, but she's doing a pre-order and she's going to have more sizes. Now this is her kind of standard snap bar size. It is a smaller bar than a Scentsy bar. It comes with five cubes and it is a smaller weight than a Scentsy bar. This does do my open layout though. This particular scent was a maybe four to ten in strength, like a light medium to bordering close to medium. And I would say it was kind of a nice balanced cinnamon orange scent. I got kind of a red hot cinnamon note with an orange scent and it was nice. Um, I don't know that it's one I would have purchased. It's a very pleasant kind of spiced orange, but I, I do love a good spiced orange and I have several that I love, love, love. So while I really liked this, I don't know that it's one I would get more of, but I love Melting Memories Wax. Her stuff does very well in my home. Um, and I'm very excited to order her pre-order stuff as well. So like I said, she's ha she has this size. And in the pre-order, she's also doing larger sizes, which I appreciate because this is a one-time use one for me. And I wouldn't mind getting like a larger, like larger amount so I can use it multiple times. So I believe she's offering larger sizes in the pre-order. So check that out if you're interested. Um, and I believe there's going to be returning scents as well as new release scents for Valentine's Day. And a couple of those scents I gave her suggestions on as far as like what notes to put in them and stuff. Some of them are totally her creation. Other, there's a couple though that I was like, can we do like a, like a pink sugar cupcake scent? And I think we're doing that. So yeah, this is another one of hers. This is Lavender Dreams. This one I believe is like Lavender Marshmallow. It reminds me a little bit of the Lavender Marshmallow soap I had from Bath and Body Works, which I love. Um, this is a very pretty lavender. Yeah, this is nice. I would say it's a, it is not an herbal lavender at all. If anything, it's a slightly floral lavender, but it is so, so, so tempered and balanced by this marshmallow vanilla note and almost like a tiny, tiny hint of, you know how warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works has like this slight, slight musk to it while being mostly a super foody scent. This is kind of like that in that it's like a vanilla with lavender and definitely like a fluffy quality, a very sweet fluffy quality, but just a tiny, tiny, tiny hint of maybe musk to make it feel kind of grown up and pretty. It's wonderful. This one actually I did two cubes in my bedroom. It's still going now. This was a lighter scent. I would say a three to four to ten in strength in my bedroom. But you could definitely still smell it when you were near the warmers by the bed. And this one actually just like made me like fall asleep. <laughs> like, I don't know that I've ever had a scent that made me fall asleep so well. Um, I wasn't even trying to fall asleep and I just like passed out. So this one was a good one, especially for a bedroom. So that's Lavender Dreams. I believe this will be offered in bigger sizes during the pre-order and I plan to pick up a bigger size in this. That was a good one and definitely a repurchase. It is a one dare and a lighter scent, like I said. Most of her stuff is <clears throat> a good solid medium for me and a good 24 hours. That particular one is on the lighter side, but also 24 hours. And I believe Teddy Bees is doing a pre-order at the end of January as well. And I plan to get on that as soon as she announces details. Um, so yeah, lots happening in wax this month. But that is all I've got for today. So thank you so much for watching. I would love to know how your new year is going so far and what you've been warming in this first week or two of the new year. Um, let me know below. Like I said, I've been doing kind of a mix and mash. I've done a few summer things. I've done a couple spring things. I've done quite a few winter things. I've done some kind of all season stuff. My use it up month of January is going well. I'm like halfway through my melting basket that I had made for January already. So I'm finding some joy in cleaning up all the half used bars that I had laying around. So making room for new stuff, clearing out the wax drawers, having a great old time. So that is what I've been up to. I would love to know what you've been melting as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.